Hello everyone and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul series in Kerbal Space Program 0.23 and in this episode I aim to go polar. Uh, we have not done a polar orbit in this series before and so I first want to put a relay satellite into polar orbit which may or may not work and then I'm going to launch one of the G-Therm satellites to do scientific ex experiments over the poles and then hopefully return that information back to the surface. However, uh, if we can transmit the Gravioli data, that would still be very useful. So let's just call this TDRS Polar. And let's launch this into polar orbit, or at least attempt to, and see if that works out. Now, if we want this to be useful, we need it high over the pole. I mean, it's no good for the apoapsis to be on the other side of the world. We really need the apoapsis to be over the North Pole so that has uh, long-term coverage over that pole. So gotta keep that in mind and hope for the best. Um, total delta V as you can see is 11,500 which should be enough for a polar orbit but uh, I haven't tried it before. haven't tried it before with uh, the real solar system so I don't know how much more I would need. Alright so everything's a go for launch and so let's get cracking. So it will be the North Pole that I'm aiming for, and, uh, and we shall see. You can see the inclination go up. I really want to try and get that to 90, so that uh, we really do have a polar satellite. Okay, staging. Antennas out. And all looks well so far. Whoa. Doing a lot of whoa here. Hmm. It's going farther. Oh dear. Well, I guess there was nothing for it. Mm. I'm gonna make this a pretty high one. Okay. It's uh, all burned out. But not the orbit I was looking for, honestly. Not in the slightest. But we'll go with what we've got. Yep. Staging. And uh, we really don't need both of them open. Uh, let's. And I want the orbit info. We strictly don't need this one in an orbital period of three hours. And you can see we're short of three hours right now. And that's because we put it into. Uh, uh, the polar orbit uh, cost more delta V, so even though I burned out the stage, it wasn't enough. We do want it oriented north-south, but we especially want it oriented so that the solar panels are going to be looking at the sun. And I think going around this way, uh, it's tough to say. Yeah, I don't need it uh, with a three hour period, but it might be more convenient to keep it that way just for consistency. And as I was saying, I can take this and deactivate it to save electric charge.
Okay, yet another satellite in a three hour orbit. All nice and good. But is it really in the sort of orbit that will help us to launch our polar satellite? And you can see the problem. Uh, it needs to be able to communicate with these other guys, which uh, in turn have to be able to... Well, I guess the obvious thing will be to... Uh... Hmm. Well, right now is not a good time to launch. Let's time warp a bit. Oh, uh, throttle up. Not good. Right. And let's get RCS off while we're at it. Um, see, everything needs to be high in their orbit. They're all low right now. Okay, now they're getting up to the high point. And let's see. Bermuda. It's always your raggedy that's an uh, issue. Okay, now we've got a uh, global connection. Hmm. Would this be good enough to uh, keep our satellite safe if we go for a polar orbit next? I mean, uh, not satellite, our uh, research probe. I think so. It'll be a nighttime launch. So, uh, Bermuda will keep uh, communication with the KSC all throughout this arc here. No, not all throughout that arc. Um, which one? Uh, Aurora Valley will take over. So probably line of sight, it'll keep communication up to here, and then it'll communicate through a rural valley. And the polar one will probably not be very useful once it dips down here. By the time our satellite gets up there, it probably will have. So let's time up a bit more. Let's see. Uh let, let's have this uh, like do a full full circle. Well, that's periapsis. Okay, well doesn't seem like timing will be great because of where the apoapsis is. That's State Putnik in charge right now. Let's not have State Putnik in charge. Okay, well I think this is the best I can do. Which one is that one? The Rural Valley, okay. All right, let's launch right now, and and this might be as good as it gets. All right, so uh, see you at the VAB, and let's uh, get our G-Therm satellite ready. You know, two things just occurred to me. First of all, we don't need to bring this back down, do we? We can just transmit the data. That's the first thing that occurred to me. Second thing that occurred to me is that if we don't need to bring it back down, we don't need the heat shield, right? Because we're not carrying the biological samples, and it's important that we dump the heat shield because in order to get into the polar orbit, we probably need the extra delta V. The delta V that this thing had before probably wasn't enough. Whoa, weird sound change there. I'll keep the RCS ports at the top and... Uh, and the four, you know why I don't like the, because uh, for some reason they kept uh, losing, let's just have three. I don't know why it kept losing uh, Cometatron, but, oh, that's pointed badly. No, no, just the Cometatrons. Yeah. All right.
This one seems to be poking in. Okay. Right, that looks fine. We don't need the parachutes either. So let's dump that. So yeah, we're just gonna do orbital research and so instead of calling this the G-Therm, let's call it the orbital research probe like I said. Uh, that's one. And if we're gonna have it uh, in orbit doing research like that, maybe what we should do is stick battery at pack at the top. Good enough. And get some more solar panels, right? So let's say we get a few more solar panels on here so that it can stay up there for longer. Because right now it's only got two orbits worth of electric charge. And that's not good enough. If we're going to do long-term research, I don't know how long-term, but uh, you know, it could be a while. Let's just uh, give it some more solar panels. Make sure the hydrazine really is topped off. Okay. And also make sure the antennae are action grouped. Just double check that. Okay, yeah. So let's do some science. Okay, ORP-1 on the launch pad, SAS on, throttle is up, and we're going for polar orbit. Okay, kerosene burn is good, and we are losing mass quickly, though not, not quite as quickly as any larger rocket would. Um, Sorry about the night launch, obviously. This is all a timing thing, and I guess I could have waited until daylight, but it's tough to say exactly how the configuration of the satellites would be. Um, the atmospheric effects on the Chatterer mod seem to be quite uh, severe, but I've got it toned down quite a lot. Well, I guess we could sort of give those a little bit of a nudge. Alright, I need to start uh, gravity turning. Still the commuter? Was that the commutatron? I better check. Yeah, I still... I, I, I reduced it to three commutatrons and it's, it's still one of them decides to fall off. I wonder... wonder which one it is and why. Huh. Strange stuff. We aren't uh, planning to return this to the surface, what we will probably do is deorbit it and let it uh, disintegrate into the atmosphere once we've gotten the science done. I probably should have overloaded with the graviolis and just gotten rid of the thermometers. Thermometers don't uh, have a biome basis, so probably we've actually done all the thermometer readings we can do except for on the surface itself. I guess we could land stuff in different biomes and try and do those readings but they'll probably lose communicate. well maybe maybe not. No I mean if we use parachutes and parachute them down to the surface in different biomes maybe we could do something. I wonder if we can get gravioli readings like that. So we weren't able to do any gravioli readings in the atmosphere and I'm not too sure why that is, but... But, uh, yeah, so maybe surface... Maybe it's time to land stuff, actually. And uh, aim for different biomes, like like I normally do with career mode. Uh, with uh, stock KSP. Maybe try stuff like that. I mean, we've got the satellites overhead, so as long as a satellite overhead is uh, maintaining connection, should be able to land and uh, get the test and and everything.
Okay, I'm gonna try for as circular an orbit as I can get. So that means pointing down a little bit more, a little bit earlier than I would. Okay, first stage away, antennae out, let's verify, can I verify? I can't even see anything. Oh, I can't see. Uh, no, that's not anything. Well, because they're pointed down now. It's not like with the communication satellites. Well, well, the one on the second stage is still extended, so that's fine. How's our communication situation, though? We're... Okay, uh, so we'll be able to connect through Bermuda after we pass line of sight. So Bermuda will keep us in connection with the KSC. All right. Okay, well that's probably as good as I'm gonna get it. Um, yep, yeah, let's let me just uh, decouple one of the fairings to make sure that I've got my uh, antennae out. Uh, looks looks okay. All right. So without further ado, let's dump the second stage. All right. So our satellite is free and connected. Let's hope the second stage doesn't come and try and bump us. Okay, we've got two two communitrons out, so let's just uh, deactivate one. Right, so what biome are we over now? Highlands, excellent! Let's uh, transmit that data even. I don't know why. Why, do, why isn't the data taking electric charge to transmit? Seems like I've got some sort of glitch. Or I've configured something wrong. Uh, the um, realistic progression light pack has some tweaks to the to the electric charge consumption on the experiments. But I thought they still drew electric charge. So I'm not too sure what's up with this. I don't think uh, logging temperature will give us anything, no. Okay, we got Highlands. Let me just, uh, yeah, okay. Kind of have to wait b before I can get something else. Actually, if I could uh, customize my custom info window, I would be able to see which biome we're over, but I guess that's sort of, I don't know if you could call it cheating, but it's, uh, it's an unnecessary shortcut, we'll call it. Well, before we do anything else let's try and see if we can maintain communication while over the pole that's that's the key right so let's see now uh, do you suppose this is a different biome let's find out sorry this is all dark nah still highlands well it's probably a different set of highlands but Okay, uh, we're def definitely getting polar-ish. Is this the tundra or something like that? Chores! Well, wasn't expecting that. Well, it can't be shores too far. Okay, well, uh, we are actually oriented the wrong way for electric charge. Let's get uh, the other way around so that uh, the solar panels are somewhat facing the sun. And now let's do another experiment. Ice caps! Alright, well that's the one we wanted. Let's transmit that data. What? Hey. I, I want the rest of that. For some reason we lost the connection. Oh. And again. Uh, we seem to be sending it in chunks, that's funny. I guess that's realistic. Uh, we still have 27% of it to send. Well, keep going. D 
this is weird. So not only is there the issue with it not consuming electric charge, but there's also another issue with it sort of sending little chunks of it. Yeah, keep going. I mean to get this gravity data over the ice cap. Uh, well, heck, yeah, send that too. Um, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll let the extra 1% go, jeez. Okay, I, I don't know how finely it can chop up this stuff. I don't know why. I mean, it, it's connected and everything. I don't know why it's got a problem. Okay, so uh, perhaps somewhere over here we can do more. Let's see if we... Oh, over here, sorry. Alright, we're still connected. In theory, I don't know whether this... Uh, it seems like... I mean, shouldn't it be expended? Uh, shouldn't the experiments be expended when I use them? I mean, this is 0.23 and everything. Hmm. Uh, I want to get mountains. Mountains is something I haven't done. But we seem to be missing these mountains. So mountains and desert are both things. Uh, we might hit these mountains. Let's see. No, we're going over water. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, looks like it'd be grasslands. Let's see. Oh, we still got a little bit more do on grasslands so let's send it I have no idea how this works why am I sending tiny little chunks of uh, science instead of all the science it might be a feature I mean it could be a feature I could definitely see how it uh, would be featureish and looks like we might have a chance of being over mountains here Okay, highlands. But why why is the experiment still resetting? I don't like that. It's a nice mountain range here, but we're not going there. I think we're gonna have to go. You know, we've maintained connection pretty well. Uh, is the southern ice cap something different? I I don't think so, right? Oh, this is just water. Okay, still over water. Nope, it's still another ice cap. Well, let's get that extra point too, shall we? It only gave us point one. Okay, well, this is still uploading. Okay, I think we've gotten all the point ones. Okay, continuing on. Dark side. I'll, I'll just let it pass the dark side. But we're still connected. Um, I'm interested to see when we actually lose connection. Wow. It's not been too bad. We're, we're all nice and connected and everything. Of course, we're coming around to the KFC side. It'll be much harder if we were like in the perpendicular orbit. Let's just see what it is. Grasslands? Still got some to milk out of it. Okay, um, let's go to the bright side before doing anything more. Looks like we'll be hitting some good land. Well, now we don't have a connection.
Nope, this time it was a fail. But that's because all of them were actually at their low point in their orbits. So next time around, let's see, yes, we are connected. All right, let's try and get that those mountains. Let's go out to this view. Let's see, doesn't look like we're gonna quite hit them though. This definitely looks Highlandish. Maybe this feels like mountains? Nope. Nope, oh, still highlands. So just deserts really is what I'm aiming for now. Because I don't think we're going to get mountains. Does this seem something special to you? Probably just grasslands. A lot of highlands, I must say. Oh, this looks like mountainous train coming up. Let's see. Grasslands. No, no. Really? Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Well, at some point the highlands have to rise into mountains, right? Maybe not. Okay, last chance for mountains. Nope. Okay. Alright, so... One more go-around. Losing electric charge pretty precipitously. Still sun. Are we facing the sun? Yeah. Should recharge. Maybe should tilt it a little bit, but we don't have connection right now. Okay, now we're connected. Just needs a little bit of an adjustment. And this way. Yeah. Well, I don't think River Valley is a separate biome, but <laughs> I'm a little bit tired of this Highland stuff. No, uh, no deserts on this pass. Looking at the way the electric charge works on this thing, it's, uh, we need a lot more solar panels. Okay, just got, uh, communication back. There are deserts on the on the KSC continent. But I don't know how well electric charge will hold out. No, electric charge isn't gonna hold out. So I need to deorbit this. I think we've gotten the science we are gonna get out of this particular one. We did do the gravioli at the poles. 
we milked some extra extra science out of a few locations not as much uh, science as I would have liked but yeah uh, time to deorbit this puppy and it's connected so let's go retrograde and burn in that direction So our first uh, polar research satellite was a success. The, the Kerbals have discovered the North Pole and, and the South Pole technically, though I uh, didn't get any extra science for that part. Certainly discovered a lot of highlands. We seem to be carrying quite a bit more hydrazine than we need. Well, I suppose the thing to do to wrap this episode up is to uh, watch it go down, right? Because, I mean, this is a intentional time when we get to watch it uh, break up in the atmosphere instead of a accidental one. So that's nice. Here we go down. So I guess maybe the next thing to do will be to try and land probes in different locations and get gravioli and temperature readings from the surface. Uh, I don't know if that really gets us anything extra or not, but maybe okay well no point uh, skimping on the time acceleration too bad it's in the dark but actually in a way the dark makes for more spectacular explosions Oh, all right, we'll uh, take it slow. The ORP-1 has done its job, given us some science, and we have more to look forward to in the next episode. Was anticlimactic. Uh, just, just, just went up in a puff of smoke. Huh. I thought it'd be a little bit more interesting than that. All right. Uh, let's go back to the space center. Well, uh, so we got 49 science out of that. It looks like. Obviously, we couldn't recover the vessel to see how many points we got, but uh, we had 200 before, and now we have 249, which is tantalizingly close to what we need to open these two experiments. Though, frankly. The accelerometer and the barometer are the two worst experiments, aren't they? I mean, uh, the accelerometer only works on the ground and the barometer works practically never. Uh, as it says, warranty void if exposed to air, well, you know. Uh, so yeah, not the greatest scientific experiments I could have thought of to uh, get. I really would like some goo. Where, where did they put the goo? I'm gonna have to look up the the post hopefully they uh, specify where they put the goo cuz i'm hankering for some goo experiments but uh, that might be further away and uh, the science juniors are probably even further than that but i don't see any goo hiding out anywhere here so yeah well uh, thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.